A good example of mainly range-bound trading following an IPO. As usual, many key levels come directly from the candle on the first day of trading and clear swing points that follow, such as the ones around the 29.70 level. Although the first two weeks of trading were mainly bearish, it is too early to say for sure whether that sentiment can continue in the long term since price fluctuates rapidly during the first year of trading. Technically, a triple bottom is developing. In order for a bullish outcome, the upper boundary in the mid-30s from the IPO open and close will have to be surpassed. The bullish engulfing is quickly neutralized and 2970 begins to fail as support. A downtrend line from some of the early swing points can be useful in gauging the impact of bullish reversals that may take place later on. This turns out to be a failed triple bottom forming the resting phase in a downward continuation. 2228 is the low of a less strict bull hammer candle that begins October. It marks the approximate double bottom reversal that puts the early downtrend line back in the spotlight. Along with the 2970 level that has now reversed rolls to offer moderate to strong resistance. This is due to the intersection with the downtrend line. A break over 2970 has failed. Adjusting the downtrend line higher to run through the latest downswing points will be helpful, as the uptrend line from the double bottom's early upswings are still keeping trading in the upper 20s. The double bottom was somewhere between a strict double bottom and a less strict double bottom, because it had the overall capital W shape, but it is not as compact as seen from a short to medium term view. However, if seen from a long term view, it could be the start of a large uptrend if price gets back into the 30s soon. Remember, this is still during the first year of trading when rapid price fluctuations are frequent. That means chart patterns along with other Analysis will be less precise due to large variations in price at key areas such as the 2970 area and the trend lines. Eventually, there is another failure to establish back into the 30s. In the process, it becomes clear the uptrend and by extension the ascending triangle have failed. In this case, it also leads to a double top reversal. In addition, the 2228 low holds for a possible triple bottom reversal or the transition into a horizontal range. Volatility is extreme but sentiment remains bullish due to the overall rise in bullish volume and increase in price. The less strict triple bottom has developed further but there is expected opposition towards the 30s. This time, bearish sentiment is comparatively weaker compared to the recent bullish surge, with lowering red volume and mainly flat price action in the last week. However, it is still important to watch short-term developments carefully. The shift back to a bullish stance is gradual but quickly accelerates. This completes the spread out triple bottom that can lead to a long-term uptrend if trading can quickly establish over the 36 IPO price. Naturally, moving over the 32.74 to 31.30 upper boundary of the prior range would be adequate. But in this case, it is also crucial to take into account the IPO price range. Now most attention will be directed at seeing if the prior double top boundary will offer firm support to the rapid drop. This drop can be weakening as price and volume begin to flatten. It was indeed a case of short term overselling being part of a normal retracement in a bullish continuation. Though this is a volatile retracement due to the rapid reversals and high volume that naturally take place near the IPO price. And major pattern ranges such as the 3274 to 3130 range. Close attention is paid to the 46 area as a potential triple top nears completion. 
Short-term bearish sentiment decreases as July ends, along with the noticeable delay with the triple top completion, as there was another minor upswing and downswing at the lower boundary. These factors combined with the current bullish spike put the bearish triple top reversal into doubt for a large portion of market participants. In the event there is further delay in dropping under the mid-40s, the potential for a failed triple top increases the possibility of a bullish continuation. Here is another case where the minor higher peak of the middle swing point can blur the boundary between the triple top and head and shoulders patterns. Though once again this marginal difference is less important, particularly as a clear bullish advantage grows. Certainly a very strong bullish continuation and a great example of a failed triple top. The 52 area later becomes a strong support as there is another instance of short term overselling. Following a rapid drop that is quickly reversed with relatively low bullish volume. As would be expected there is clear resistance from the recent highs in the 70s. A possible less strict double top and more compact head and shoulders are more difficult to outline due to high volatility. Theoretically the neckline focusing on 6150 was not decisively breached because the large November 10th drop was a bull hammer candle. This leads to the identification of lower descending trend lines that form a channel with the upper descending trend line. A gradual break over the 70 boundary and the downward channel places focus on another potential bullish continuation where the 70 boundary will act as a support. Such a move is plausible at this point given the aggressive long term uptrend and the short term bullish sentiment shown by the large green candle closing over 7150 to end November along with the early upswing that can likely form from the bullish confirmation of the Harami that halted the minor downswing over the past three days. A great example of a failed head and shoulders. The aggressive bullish climb is aided by a stable uptrend line starting from the end of the right shoulder. The moderate to steep uptrend line remains stable to end a minor correction towards 2021. That is normal after such a near vertical rise. The uptrend line is certainly a key guide as price trades around the 100 barrier, which is often a key landmark for stocks following an aggressive IPO year. In the event the moderate to steep uptrend line is not maintained, there can be greater pressure on the 100 boundary. If the 100 boundary is breached, a rapid drop is possible since the 100 price level is often a popular psychological barrier on most all charts. The overall case study shows great examples of failed bearish reversals that end up becoming continuations in the longer term uptrend. It could be said there was a failed head and shoulders from August to October, but that was more difficult to identify due to the extreme proportions and volatility. This could also loosen criteria too much from regular head and shoulders outlines. Even if the argument for this variant of a failed head and shoulders wasn't identified, simple analysis could be done by watching how the 52 area reversed rolls to become firm support from August to October. 